A lot of people have been asking me about atmospheric rivers and said, hey, where did this term come from? What is an atmospheric river? So we want to unpack that. So technically speaking, this weather event is not anything new, but the way we address them and rank them actually is on the newer side. Most simply put, an atmospheric river is essentially a plume of moisture over the Pacific. It looks like a fire hose in the sky pointing precipitation and moisture at the west coast. Atmospheric rivers can actually be beneficial along the west coast. It's how we get a large portion of our rain each year, especially in California, those drought prone areas, they rely on atmospheric rivers to get rain. But the key is that we don't want too much too fast and strong atmospheric rivers can bring that. I've actually covered this quite a bit because I've spent my entire career on the West Coast and prior to working in Washington, I worked in San Diego. So I did a lot of stories with Scripps Institution of Oceanography in UC San Diego. They're kind of the forefront of preparing a scale for atmospheric rivers. The mentality is that we have scales for a lot of different types of weather events. Think of tornadoes, the enhanced Fujita scale, all the way up to an EF5. So if I say EF1 versus EF5, you know instantly that the EF1 is weak, the EF five is strong. Same thing for hurricanes, category one, category five, one is weak, five is strong. So they said, hey, these atmospheric river events are impactful. They're common. We see them every year on the West Coast. Let's put a metric to it to put some context. So when we say atmospheric river, people don't have to wonder, well, is it a good one or a bad one? So in 2019, they actually released a scale, an atmospheric river scale, and it's really been gaining traction these last couple of years. So when you think of an AR one, two, maybe three, those are beneficial atmospheric rivers. That's a normal, healthy amount of rain that oftentimes the West Coast needs. It's when we get into the AR four, five range that it can be potentially impactful to a negative degree because it's a lot of rain at once. Now the Pacific Northwest is expecting an atmospheric river for the next really 24 to kind of 72 hours. And this one is expected to be an AR4. So that means a lot of rain in a short period of time. We're keeping an eye on urban flooding, rivers on the rise and debris flow risk, which are the common culprits when we see these stronger atmospheric rivers.